Is deposit photos a good source for your stock images? I'm gonna talk about it. Let's check. What's up, Automation Nations? Justin Morgan, founder of AutomationMaster.net, here to help you automate your business, master your destiny, and in this case, maximize your impact. And today I'm gonna talk about images. I know, I'm not the artist. It's like, Justin, what's to do with automating stuff? Well, many of you need to build out pages and you want your pages to look good. You got sales pages, landing pages, websites. And you're like, Justin, I'm not a graphic designer. I can't do custom stuff. How can I get pictures done? Well, you search this thing on Google and it's called stock images. Now, when you do this though, there are like a million different sources. There's iStock, there's Shutterstock, right? There's, I don't know, there's, a, there's like a million of them. There, there's other platforms. Um, there's some free ones and some paid ones. Now, some, some free ones that I use and consistently, uh, Pexels and Pixabay are my two go-to. Um, there's some other ones out there and I, I won't knock and say they aren't good or are good. Um, there's some that are really good um, if you're looking for a certain type of image. And that's the thing. And when it comes to the paid platforms, um, you should be able to go on a paid platform and pretty much find anything that you're looking for. And what I found is that most of the paid platforms that have the have all the images you need are expensive. Then there are some cheaper play, paid platforms that pretty much just take what's on Pexels or Pixabay, pretty much just port it over and then charge you for it. And the images aren't great. They aren't, they claim that they're high def, but they don't really look that nice. Like they just aren't adequate, right? So I've been always trying to find that mid, that midway point where it's premium images that are nice. Maybe it doesn't have everything, but still has a nice collection, but is not cheap, right? But maybe, maybe it's not super cheap, um, but the pictures are better, right? Like it's, they're not all crap. Okay, and so one that I found was actually initially through an app sumo deal. Uh, it was called Deposit Photos. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see it. It's depositphotos.com. I'm gonna have an affiliate link in the description. So when you do see that, if you wanna check this out, there's an affiliate link. I will get credit if you do sign up. Now I am showing this because I want you to make the decision yourself. So you don't, you don't have to go with Deposit Photos. It's the one I actually use. So the only reason I'm sharing it is because I actually use it. And the reason I am willing to give you an affiliate link is because I actually like it. And I think the deals are worth it. Uh, so if I go here, I'm going to share my screen. Um, the, the, the usual deal they have for images themselves is 100 images for $100, which if you go out there into the world of, of stock images, is actually pretty good. Um, if I go over to iStock, Okay, if I go to iStock and I go look at their pricing plans, um, at the end of the day, three credits for $33, right? If you want 10 images a month, right? You got to pay 99 bucks monthly for 10 images a month, okay? I go to deposit photos and get 100 for $100. Now iStock has some great images. And if you're looking for the highest quality images possible, then iStock is definitely one of the great places to go. Shutterstock. Um, Shutterstock is also a great place to go if you are looking for just pure quality, right? Like you want some great images. Shutterstock is a little more affordable in my opinion. Uh, let's see here, activate later. Let's go over the pricing. I think of their pricing, they are they're much more reasonable. Okay, as I think of, I mean, I I think they're more they're reasonable. Maybe I'm I'm wrong. I guess when you really look at it, it really comes down to about the same. Um, five images, forty nine dollars. So ten minute, ten images is about that much anyway. Uh, so it's about the same prepaid, or you can do these annual packages. But again, if you want a lot of great images, it's a great place to be. Um, but iStock I like because it's it's kind of in that middle of they have some good looking images like these collections here like these images that you can get I'm gonna go here to uh, what did I like 
what did I see that I liked? I like that aerial collection. I think it's it's kind of scrolling through. Uh, maybe it'll come back around. Natural backgrounds, healthcare, mother mood, greeting cards. So I mean, I like how they set it up. They have some collections here, which is actually pretty useful. Their business images, winter activities. Like the quality at the price is good. As you can see, there's a nice variety. And what, I, what I've really found is the more you dig through this platform, the more it impresses you. Because there's some stuff that you, when you initially search, you don't find. But then when you start looking for similar images from things, and you start searching terms you didn't really think about, you actually do find some, some unique pieces that uh, you would have never really considered. Like if I go back to my, my favorite images, and some of the ones I've pulled out for clients and things like that. I guess sometimes you find some standard ones like this that are kind of like, hey, you see these everywhere. There's nothing special about them, but they're useful, okay? But then sometimes I find things like this that I would have never thought of and that I like, right? It's actually very useful. Um, you find some cool ones like this. I'm in the automation space, so this right here is really nice. Uh, there's some other ones like, um, see, this is really nice. I like this one. Uh, this is cool for me. I like this collection. So I can, I just found this stuff randomly, right? I wasn't even really looking for these, but I needed them and I found them. So, I mean, it's, it's stuff like that. You can search them and search stuff that's similar by the same model, what have you, like a lot of the other platforms. But the, the collection here is nice. Like I like the platform. If you wanna search for vectors and things for like logos, you know, so I wanted to look for an AM logo for my business, right? So if I wanted to upgrade my logo, I could go here and get some logo ideas, which I have before in the past, okay? So, I mean, there's stuff here. I like it, and it works, and it's nice. And the price, I don't know that you can beat the price for the value. So that's the only reason I bring deposit photos up. So is it something I suggest that you try? Is it worth the $100? 100% completely, because I did it. And I will need to re-up again because I'm down to 10. So if you're asking, Justin, do you use this or are you just promoting it just because? I am. I've used it. I've used plenty of it. And uh, I mean, my cart shows that I have stuff here. And the fact that I only have 10 images left shows I bought 100 packs. So it's been a while. And it lasts for a while. So it's, it's actually very, very much worth the deal. Um, I, don't, I think I bought this, I want to say, I don't know if it was exactly a year ago, but it's been a while, and as you can see, the images have lasted, and that's even with having client products, so I, I can't speak too badly about it. When you want an image, then you can get it, different sizes, you can get the vector, you can get the extended license if you want, if you plan on selling the images for commercial reasons, like t-shirt. If you're selling the images, if you're getting the image for business for the sake of selling something with the image, not like you're building on a sales page where you're selling, but you are selling the thing with the image, then you'll need the um, extended license for that, okay? Um, otherwise, you get the standard license. All right, so that all being said, that's what I got. Hopefully that has been useful for you. If you have any questions for me, if you wanna check it out, check the link in the description. Then there is an affiliate link. I hope hold no shame for that. And again, if you want to support the channel, the amazing things that you're doing, and you just like the comment, you think it's a good suggestion, you're gonna buy it anyway. I'll see why not check out the link. I'll see y'all in the next piece of content. As usual, I'm Justin Morgan, founder of AutomationMaster.net. It help you automate your business, master your destiny, and of course, maximize your impact. And I'll see you in the next one. And make sure that you treat each day as a building block to a better future. Peace.